So talk about a team that is currently on a meteoric fall right now, and that is the Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles lost to the 4-12 and Arizona Cardinals 35-31. to The Eagles were up double digits. The Cardinals pretty much, actually the Cardinals, it's in their best, their best interest not to win this game for draft, for draft order, order. And you lose. And the Philadelphia Eagles are starting to lose the same exact way. Their defense has been horrible this entire, not the entire year. And that's why I said it's been a meteoric fall because in the beginning of the year and last year, this defense was good. There hasn't really been a major injury. Uh, The defense has just regressed to now. Their defense is terrible. It used to be their, their defensive line was okay. But their back end was terrible outside of Darius Slay. Every single person on the defensive back or the the back end of the defense outside Darius Slay has been horrible. But now as you look, nothing. There is not everything about the Eagles defense is terrible. They can't stop the run. They can't stop the pass. They can't. They can't get. They can't get out of their way with the penalties. They are terrible. And kind of like, and we'll talk about we'll talk about the Chiefs in a second. Kind of like the Chiefs, their offensive, their offense can't pick up their defense because their offense has struggled. Jalen Hurts didn't look good. Three touchdowns. He had 167 yards and one interception. The running game can't flourish because the offensive line isn't playing good. DeAndre Swift only has 61 rushing yards. Jalen Hurts had 25. And on top of that, Devontae Smith went out with an injury. I don't know the severity of it right now, but he left on with crutches and a boot. And that don't look good, especially going into week 18 of the season. And when I say meteoric fall, I did, I mean, when I did my predictions for this season, I thought that the Super Bowl was going to be the Ravens and the Eagles. And I talk about, I talked about that at the top of the show, developing habits. The Eagles have not developed good habits all season, but they have been able to win because I know it's crazy when you see an 11 and five team and still say meteoric fall like this team was in the running to win the NFC going into going into Sunday. And now they have squandered that and now they're about to be in a dogfight. They have to win. Against the Giants, which is not a lay uh, a layup anymore, they because of that defense, they have to beat the Giants, and the Cowboys have to beat the Commanders, which is going to happen. Or the Cowboys have to lose the Commanders, which ain't going to happen. This Philadelphia team kind of like uh, this Philadelphia team looks like a a wild card exit team. Because of this defense. And on top of that, yo, you know it's bad when Julio Jones had 34 yards, two touchdowns. Julio Jones. And they they need and they still lost. It just doesn't it doesn't seem like there's any cohesiveness on this team. Which is shocking, seeing as though the team just came from the Super Bowl. No cohesiveness, no no connection with Jalen Hurts and his receivers or no connection with the run game and the offensive line, no connection with any part of the defense. 
to lose to an Arizona Cardinals team that had no business winning. They were losing by double digits. And it would be in their best interest to lose. And you won. And they lost, as far as the Eagles did. (sighs) Meteoric fall is the best way that I can describe this. Because even if you look now, man, and the last thing I'm going to say on this, even if you look now, (sighs) one thing that I'm hearing, and this isn't just with the Eagles, one thing that I'm hearing is if something happens, then this will happen. There's always a cause and effect, right? And I'm hearing a lot of people say, well, if the Eagles clean this up, they'll be good. Or if the Dolphins clean this up, they'll be good. They've been developing habits all season. You think that in a game or two or three, they're just going to completely change that if they haven't been able to change that all season? Like, what? The the misconception about teams that flip the switch is they go from terrible to, to incredible. That's not true. We talk about the, I talk about the Golden State Warriors a lot because they're a good example. When they flipped the switch, when, when they had Kevin Durant in, in that dynasty, when they would flip the switch, they didn't go from God awful to historic in a span of a timeout. They went from coasting to turning it up and actually caring. But even with them coasting, they're still a good team. What, f- what switch can be flipped with this Philadelphia Eagles team that can essentially wipe away all their defensive problems and they go on a Super Bowl caliber run. If that happens, I will come in here and say I'm wrong, but I think that is damn near impossible. What what switch is the Miami Dolphins going to flip right now? Because and this it's it was been in my head too. All year I'm thinking about damn, they put up 70. We know how prolific they are. We know how offensively, when they turn up the switch offensively, yeah. We that they've only done that once. Once. And as we're obviously seeing, there is not a team in the playoffs that's about to play like the Denver or the Denver Broncos did. When, when their defense was on a historically bad run. So I, I don't feel no type of good about this Philadelphia Eagles team. Because they have not shown me the ability to flip any switch. In fact, again, that's why I said they're on a meteoric fall. Because at the beginning of the season... They were Super Bowl caliber. They were a Super Bowl caliber team. They had Super Bowl hopes. And I thought that they were still going to make it back to the Super Bowl. As I sit here today, I'll be shocked if they make it to the uh, Eastern Conference Final. I mean, no, if they make it to the NF- NFC Championship. I'd be shocked. Oh, man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.